What's up YouTube, Crafty here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Um, this is indeed The Road to Glory where we don't spend any money, we don't put any FIFA points into this Road to Glory, this is just us working hard and making coins the best way we can. Um, so guys, as you well know, um, more foot champions, that's, that's kind of the way... This seems to be going, but I um, finally got rounded to completing the um, Hybrid League and Nations, I believe, or Hybrid League um, squad building challenges. You had to have um, tr -tr 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 loyalty on your players. So for all of these, I had to go in and, you know, do the loyalty glitch to get loyalty on my players. If you don't know what the loyalty glitch is, basically you go and play in a sort of a single game. You can go against Team of the Week. You put your players in that you want to get loyalty on. Um, you start the game, it kicks off. You dashboard on your Xbox. You, you quit out the game and you restart it. Do that 10 times and you get the loyalty on your players. So uh, that's what I had to do um, to kind of get, get, get the job done, really. So, yeah, we uh, we pick up some packs here. Not the best packs as per usual. Um, but we do get a little bit lucky in our last pack. So at the point of where we are now, I'd lost kind of coins on them. Um, but we kind of gained players back um, for future squad building challenges. So it wasn't necessarily the end of the world. Um, but yeah, guys, we uh, we uh, went on to Footbin. I suggest you do the same. Use Footbin a lot. It's amazing for what you can do on there. So if you go on to Footbin, you can um, people submit like cheap versions of squad builders and you can see how much they cost on playstation how much they cost on xbox at their lowest bins um and then basically you can pick a team that maybe have some players in that you've already got or find the cheapest way possible so that's basically what i done um it saves a lot of headache going through what you've got and trying to make it work um just going and you know let someone do the hard work for you so i definitely suggest that um the packs the the rare gold packs and things like were pretty nice but again we didn't really pick up anyone of merit all these players will come in handy to us though i'm sure in future reference so um nice to pick up packs along the way finally got the legendary one done um again pr pretty easy this one pretty cheap as well um i think it's about eight thousand coins we paid for it all in all um, I did buy Bojan with a CM that cost me two and a bit thousand coins when I realised I could have done it with Herrera, um, which would have saved me probably a thousand coins or so. But hey ho, we live and learn, guys. We live and learn. So yeah, pr pretty sweet getting these finally done. Um, I've been putting it off because I know I needed loyalty and I was trying to get as many players as possible. So we get the rare players pack, we get the ten thousand coins back, and we get the the nice kit. Um, which I'm sure we we'll use at some stage, but if you have any kits with EA on, you you kind of find people back out um, against you, and the people that back out normally aren't very good, and you want to be playing them people. So, yeah, I'll try and stay away from those kits where possible, which is really unfortunate, really, because um, it kind of makes them a bit redundant. But as you can see here, we do pick up a nice inform, um, nice big flare, reasonable inform, goes for pretty much discard, but. Um, yeah, they might come in handy for a future at SBC. Wasn't entirely sure if I've shown you this already, but um, I, I had so much footage and I saw it there and I couldn't remember putting it in, in my previous videos. So there's that. Right now, to job at hand. Apologies, guys. This game, I got everything set up, but I hit forgot to hit the record button. So this was our first game of Foot Champs. We pick up a nice 4-1 win, which puts us in good stead. So now we're going to get on to... Um, well, very shortly get on to uh, what the title of the video is all about, and that is how EA have screwed us, and they screwed us big time, and that will become more apparent as uh, the week goes on with the other episodes. Um, we're rocking the same team, guys, uh, as last weekend. Nothing's changed at all, although it will change throughout Foot Champs, as I quite often do. I'll bring a player or two in if I find things aren't working. So um, come up against this guy. He's got a reasonable side, hoping to make it two out of two. Things do start well for us. Akadi doing what he does best, bullying people off and slotting it in the bottom corner. Um, and uh, that's the way it finished. Um, yeah, pretty... Uh, Pretty boring game, definitely had the better, should have scored more goals looking at those stats there, um, 
but you know you can't you can't hammer every guy and it's probably a good idea because it put your skill rating right up and we'll be playing against beasts that um that we're probably not good enough to play so uh into game three so this is this is what, what um is this the game i'm sure it's the game Maybe it's not the game. No, this isn't the game. It was game four. So th this game we played was um, a pretty tough game. Good opponent. Get a little bit lucky here and there, unfortunately. Um, but that's just life, and that's the way it is. So this starts the first game of being screwed by EA. So you'll see it in a second, and I'll, I'll slow it down for you guys so you can see it. Because I, I thought it was strange at first glance. I had to look at the replay, and uh, you'll see it in just a second. You see me shushing this dude because he was being a bit of a douche. Um so yeah is it this goal it is this goal so look at this there so like that looks like costa's just got the the slide in on walker but you look again guys see i'll just edit this clip down for you look the ball falls through walker the ball actually goes through him i slow it right down here guys so you can have a look but i mean what is this about you know this is it's a, t it's a tough close game that i'm edging and this happens look look at this look at the ball straight through him straight through his whole body his leg through his foot and then costa gets an easy tap in what the hell is going on there so um yeah that that's that's just how our luck was again this weekend um but that's that's not the end of it there so uh, unfortunately we do go 3-2 down and end up losing this game um so to lose it in that vein is uh, is pretty frustrating nothing we could have done there you can see, you know, the stats didn't carve out as many chances as he did, but definitely was playing the better footy. But, um, yeah, really frustrating, really frustrating. So uh, um, that's that's part one, I suppose, of a free parter by EA. So we come up into our second game after that, um, coming up against a pretty standard BPL team. Uh, you know, I thought I was having the better of this guy. He was, he was a reasonable player, don't get me wrong, um, but definitely thought I was... Uh, I was on top of this guy, and then uh, this goes and happens. So just playing a game, da 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 da, boom. You've lost connection to the EA servers. You will be unable to access any online features until you sign in. So I'm thinking, what the hell's going on here? Because you know my internet's fine. I'll check my computer straight away. It hasn't gone down. I was streaming some music at the time. That hadn't stopped at all. So I was like, oh, don't do me like this, EA. Please don't do me like this. Don't like let that go down as a loss. So we log back into uh, EA. We log back in, and sure enough, it is a loss, guys. A big, fat loss. You have DNF'd. And I was thinking, God, seriously, we've had this before in Foot Champs, and that's what made me give give FIFA a break because this game's so broken so the game before obviously with the ball just went through Kyle Walker that game we just got booted off for no reason whatsoever I, you know I checked all my internet I hadn't dropped out I was absolutely tamping and we go into this game here against a pretty nice team um, got some real nice players and it comes up to half time pretty again pretty even game to be fair um, and then uh, yeah it comes up to half time and guess what happens? Guess what happens? The inevitable happens, guys. This goes and happens. So just finishing off the game, I just wanted to put this bit in to prove to you that I didn't rage quit. It was still like nil-nil. I wasn't three nil down and just kind of turned off my console or quit out of the game. But yeah, it's nil-nil. Going to half time. All's hunky dory, thinking, you know, what we're we gonna change in the second half to to kind of improve and get better and get the win as I thought we could definitely do in this game. And then the will of death comes. The will of death, guys. We get booted off again. And now at this point, I'm really angry. I'm absolutely tamping at this point. So it puts us back. I've, I look at the screen here, leaving Ultimate Team, but it hasn't booted me off. So I'm still logged in there, as you can see. So again, I'm checking my computer. That hasn't gone down. My music hasn't stopped. What, what is going on here? Um, I thought, oh, maybe I haven't been booted off that time. Maybe I won't get the DNF. Uh, but sure as shit, guys, I get the DNF. Ugh. You know, that's... that's. Oh, I was just speechless, honestly. I was absolutely tamping. I turned my console off. I got on the phone to EA. 
And uh, I said, you know, what's going on? So we're now two and five, two for five, which is shocking, really, because we should be potentially four for five, three for five, five for five. Um, so, yeah, to get done like that is it was pretty harsh. So got on the phone to EA. I said, um, what had happened? The advisor was as, as helpful as a chocolate teapot, I suppose. So, yeah. He was like, oh, we can't, we can't like put your games back in your account. And I'm like, well, why not? Because I know before previously, and just, just you see here, guys, I left this replay. And this was, you know, after coming back, after speaking to EA, which I'll get back to in a second, this goes and happen. I was running the opposite way with Manolis and just auto lunged and took him out. So give away a penalty in a, in a close game. And again, our, our luck was just... Um, it was not with us. I was I was fuming. Um, so yeah, I spoke to EA. I spoke to the guy on the phone. He's like, oh, we can't put your games back on your account. And I'm like, Ugh, really? I said, like, I've got video pr proof that this has happened. My internet hasn't gone down. He said, you must be having internet issues. I explained that I was streaming um, music. That didn't drop out. I looked at my PC straight away. That didn't drop out. Um, so yeah, just one of those really frustrating things. So he was like, look, I can put a couple packs on your account if you want. And I said, well, yeah, that doesn't really help me in this situation. But yeah, to be fair, he put packs, two, um, two premium gold packs on my account, two 7.5k packs. And uh, as you can imagine, there was nothing in there. Um, so yeah, really frustrating, guys. So we end up losing that game, that one just then as well, um, due to really bad auto lunge. Again, nothing to do with me. So we find ourselves two and six. Um which is just really frustrating. This put us in a really bad position. Um, and then we come up against this God squad. And then I was just, yeah, I was just so tamping. I was so on edge. Um, managed to get back into this game with Lacazette, which was nice. Um, but unfortunately for us, stupid kickoff goal again. So this is our one, two, three, four, fifth game where, um, you know, I just can't control kickoff glitches and auto lunges and getting kicked off and the servers. It was so frustrating, it really was. So that kind of summed up my Friday, really. And I thought, right, let let me get in and play just a couple games. Let me get a win because if I go off salty, like this is going to like ruin my weekend. I'm going to be in a bad mood for the for the rest of the week. Managed to get back to 2-2, two -two, go to extra time. Um, he goes ahead 3-2. I get super lucky myself here, to be fair. You know, I, I will admit when I'm lucky. Um, but it was quite a nice goal, to be fair. So I um, managed to pull it back to 3 all, push him to penalties. And um, you know how good we are at penalties, guys. We suck at penalties. So, um, yeah, something we definitely proved on this weekend, I must admit, which you'll kind of see. We definitely won a lot more penalty shootouts um, than we have been winning, which was nice. But um, yeah, just really frustrating, and I, yeah, I, I just kind of speechless about it. Now it was it kind of was a detriment to our our whole weekend. Um, I let you into a bit of an insight. I won't tell you how what we finished on, but we did have our best weekend that we've had on this account so far. Um, so to do it when we're you know completely handicapped at the beginning of it was um I was quite impressed with, but luckily for us guys we do manage to win the penalty shootout. Um, I shushed that guy just out of pure frustration for the game. To be honest, no other reason. But you look at the stats there. I absolutely dominated that guy. So the the FIFA was definitely against us. Our luck was not on our side as per usual. So um, bit of frustration, but we do pick up a win which was nice so um so we're now three and seven i believe um going into kind of our next game so yeah just what wanted to really just talk about gameplay a little bit this this weekend to be fair because although we had all this drama at the beginning things kind of went all right for us after that and, and we didn't have as much as ea aids as a lot of people like to put it um starting to kind of figure out our players a little bit more, what works well for them, what doesn't. But that finish there is something I need to work on. The the low driven shot across the goalkeeper. Um what a goal from McCardy that was. Um what I, I tend to be under pressure, I seem to be bottling it and either like trying to put power on and then not tapping the button quick enough or just double tapping the button 
um, so it gets no power on it. So maybe when I'm in a bit under pressure a bit more, I should go for a finesse or just a normal shot um, because, yeah, I'm bottling those opportunities. And But you'll see throughout the stats, I don't tend to have the stats on for long, guys, but if you want to have a look um, at the stats, you feel free to press pause on the video and just kind of have a look. But um, I'm definitely getting a better ratio of shots on target to... Um, to sh to shots basically also kind of thinking different ways I know as well you'll see later on is that I struggle with free kicks so I'm trying to find different ways and things that will work so yeah just um this was a lot of trial and error this weekend but um it was more you know more positive than it was negative Lacazette there really strange one for me Lacazette he can either bully people off the ball or he just gets bullied there's no kind of medium with him um so it was quite frustrating, but when he's on his game, he's brilliant. So with this, I left this in as well, guys. As you can see there, he got booked. I know he was 2-0 down. I mean, I wasn't going to score from that free kick, unless he was just frustrated and he turned his console off, which is a bit weird, because that doesn't really tend to happen in foot champs unless you're smashing someone. I mean, I'm only 2-3-0 uh, sorry, three nil up. Maybe he did. Maybe he did turn his console off. I don't know, but it looked to me... Like the same thing happened to him, what happened to me. So there was definitely an issue. EA denied there was an issue. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot, EA. Thanks thanks for screwing us. Um, but that's going to be it for today's video, guys. So um, it's going to be a bit of a tricky week this week. I've got um, I've got a lot on. So we're going to get games out tonight, obviously. So uh, you have... What we have. So tomorrow you have the rest of the... Um, we didn't play any games on Saturday because I ended up getting smashed on Friday after this and was too hungover and decided not to play any foot champs. So we had 31 matches remaining um, we, and obviously we had to play all of them on Sunday so it was a bit of a mammoth task. So you have half of those games um, tomorrow. The rest of the games on Wednesday, which I'm actually away. Um, so I won't be back till... I'm going away early Wednesday, but I won't be back till Thursday night. Um, I just got to go down to head office for a meeting, so it's going to be exciting, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, basically, so I'm going to have to record Wednesdays tomorrow as well as tomorrow's, and then have to kind of upload that one away, which isn't too much drama. But Thursday, I won't be back till late, and that's when we get our rewards and hopefully a month for these. There's been a new update as well. Um, that you get at a Pacific time on a Thursday now, 6pm. Um, but I don't know whether that's our time or a different time. So um, so yeah, that's the schedule. So we're still sticking to the schedule. It just might be that Thursdays either comes out really late or that I record it Thursday and upload it Friday. So um, frustrating, guys. I know I really want to stick to the schedule and you deserve that as well. But life just gets in the way sometimes. So um, but that's going to be it for today's video, guys. So if you enjoyed it, please smack a like on the video. If you're new around here, please subscribe. But until next time, guys, take care. Peace.